What's going on everybody? Okay, it's time for the next uh, installment of the sunglass review uh, series that we've been doing here on the channel. Uh, so this pair of sunglasses is actually one I really like and I bought them and I keep them in my Jeep. I used to keep them in my truck all the time, but I found myself driving my Jeep as a daily driver. So I switched these out with another pair uh, for my truck. And I've been keeping the turrets that I reviewed earlier in the series in my truck. And, I, and like I said, I've been keeping these in the Jeep. Uh, so what are these? These are the Costa 580P uh, Fantail sunglasses. I really like these, they fit well. And without further ado, let's take a look at them. Okay, here I'm wearing the Costa 580P Fantail sunglasses, and they're one of my favorite sunglasses that I actually own. And uh, I do wear these a lot in the Jeep, and I wanna show you, they have a more wrap around, they kind of cover more of the side of your eye. I do consider these more of a sporty or sport style sunglasses. These were made more for fishermen and stuff like that, and active people that wanna keep the sun and glare out of the side of their eyes as well. They wrap around really nicely, and they fit my head superbly uh actually a funny story on how i got these a guy at work had a pair and was wanting to sell them pretty cheap and i bought them uh they were exact same pair you can get these with a blacked out c if you would prefer i do have a pair of salt breaks that i'll review later on that have a blacked out uh, version but this one does have the silver c in the side of it but um i bought a pair of these used off my buddy i went to saint augustine florida and was wearing them in the fort down there when we were taking a tour of the fort. I had them on top of my head because we were inside part of the fort and when I looked up, the sunglasses fell off of my head. Um, they landed on whatever that shelly type ground is they have there and put a huge scratch right down through the middle of one of my lenses. So I had to find out exactly how good Costa's uh, customer service was gonna be. So I sent these back and it was like 60 some dollars or $80, I can't remember. And I was just expecting them to replace my lenses. That was not the case. Costa sent me a brand new pair of glasses. They replaced the entire frames, glasses, case and all. And I know I didn't mention this in the other videos, but most of these sunglasses do come with a, a hard case. All Costas do, Ray-Bans come with a case. Most sunglasses come with some kind of a case. But they sent me a brand new case because the old style had a, a gray C on it. So brand new case, brand new everything. So shout out to Costa for that. Their customer service is phenomenal. I paid for a glass change and uh, got a whole new pair of glasses. Now these do have the 580P lenses. Uh, they are polarized and they are plastic which aids in the weight of the sunglasses. As you'll see in the salt uh, brake video later on, the salt brakes are quite a bit heavier. These come in at one ounce which is the same weight as the aviator style Ray-Bans that I just reviewed. Now the difference is these frames add more weight towards the back, towards your ears. So these glasses are more evenly weight distributed than the aviators are. And where the aviators slid down my nose, these do not. Where that weight is evenly distributed throughout the glasses, um, they stay up on my face superbly. These things are amazing. Uh, they do have a rubberized coating inside here and on the, the frame right here. So your nose piece and your the frames that fit across your ears are rubberized. These do have a nice turn down. So when I wear hats with these, they do not interfere with my hat at all. Now that Item number for these is TF110GP, if you're looking these up for the exact lens and everything that I have. Now, the MSRP on these are around $179, which I do even having replaced these and everything, have a little bit less than that in these. But you can actually find these online if you do your research for probably around $125 to $140. So when it all comes down to it, I do have a little more in these uh, than if I'd have bought them brand new, but I had to send them back. If I hadn't had to send them back, I would have had way less money in these than I could have even bought them 
at the cheapest online place that I found. And like I said, um, Costa's customer service is amazing. They did, they did me so awesome. I cannot complain one bit about how they, they did with these sunglasses and sent me a new pair. Uh, just know when you're buying a pair of Costas, and I know I'm I'm really hyping up Costa a lot, uh, but that's because I believe in their product. But just know when you're buying a pair of Costas uh, that you're buying those for life, and you can send those back, and uh, they'll replace them, lenses, frames, whatever, and, and do you right if you need that done. Again, I love these, and they fit very well. And if you do your research, you can get a pretty good price on these. They really cut down the glare on the ocean and the glare off windshields and chrome and everything else. I highly recommend a pair of Fantails. So one other thing I do want to say, they do make a lot of different frames, and they're really close. So you may still want to go somewhere like a sunglass hut or something like that and try a pair on and make sure that they fit your face because just because the Fantails fit my face superbly doesn't mean that the salt breaks won't fit yours even better. I appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.